Well, what is a function? A function is essentially um, a rule that takes an input, it ponders that input, and then it delivers a single output. So it's useful to think of a, a function as a machine. Let's, let's talk about this, let's represent this machine by this little box here. So imagine a machine, you feed in an input to a machine and the machine does something to it and then it, it returns some output here. And the important part of the definition for a function is that this machine, it gives just one single output. It doesn't, it doesn't return multiple outputs. It's just a single output. More about that in a moment. Uh, you might ask, what's an example of a function? Uh, well, let's have a look at the, the function f of x equals x squared. Now you might not have seen this notation before. This f, this is just what we've chosen to call our function. I've chosen f because it's a very common selection. Uh, and this x here, well this, this x is, is our input value. This just denotes all the different, different things that we could input in this function. And this side of the function specifies what exactly the rule is. So remember this, this machine is a, essentially it's a specifies a rule. So what exactly this rule does? So this function simply describes that if we if we feed in a particular number to this 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 rule or this relation, then what it will do, it'll take that number, it'll multiply that number by itself and it will output that number multiplied by itself. So for instance, if we were to evaluate f of 2, f of 2, this would be like inputting the number 2 into this function. And what we, what we would do is every time we saw this x here, we would replace this x with a 2. So there's an x here, we'll replace this with a 2. Uh, you might have done substitution like this many times before, and if we were to evaluate this, this would just equal 4. 2 squared equals 4. So what we've done here is we've taken an input, here the input was 2, We've put it into our little machine, uh, our, our, our rule, and this machine has just output one single value, and that single value is the value of 4. Consequently, we can tell that th this, this, this rule is a function. For every x that we could put in here, this rule will specify just one single output. Uh, and consequently, that's how we define a function, so we can call this rule a function. Now you might say, Mark, I've done this algebra substitution stuff before, why are functions so special? Well, functions are special because they're incredibly abstract. Uh, we can define a function often as a graph. So for instance, let's consider the graph of y equals x squared. So y equals x squared will look something like this. We'll call this y equals x squared, where this is our x-axis, and this is our y-axis. So this, this graph here, this graph represents a rule. And what it does is it says, if you give me some x value, I will give you a corresponding y value. So for instance, let's imagine we have an input of 1, of 1 here. Well, what this graph does is says, okay, well, you've given me this input one. What I'll do is I'll give you an output. And that output, we can quickly figure it out, uh, will be, um, say, uh, we can just write one squared. So y equals one squared, y equals one squared, which it's very easy to evaluate that is going to be one. So if you give me if you, if you give this machine some input of 1, it will return an output of 1. This is like saying, if we're going to look at this notation, if we give this machine a 1, the machine will ponder on this for a moment, and then it will return a single value, and that value will be 1. Now, it's interesting to think about what, what rules represent functions. Uh, but a question you might be thinking is, what is a rule that isn't a function? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a think about one. Let's, let's look at a very similar function to this. 
uh, or sorry, a very similar rule to this, except it's not a function. So it's the rule, let's just label our axes here. This is, uh, this is the X axis. This is the Y axis. Let's consider uh, this function, sorry, this rule. And this rule we can write as y squared equals x. Now I defined a function before as uh, a machine or a rule that specifies for every input there is a single output. So you might have guessed that something that is not a function, so not a function, does, uh, does the converse. So if we plug an input into this machine, if we have a rule that, uh, that for one input it specifies more than one output, so we've got two outputs coming here, then this is not a function. It's still a rule, but it's not a function. So an output here, an output here. Let's consider this rule. So this rule, imagine that we were to, uh, to, to, our input here is still x, imagine that we were to input the number, the number one into this rule. Well, to evaluate y, we'll have to simplify this a little. We can divide, or sorry, we can take the square root of both sides. So we'll say y equals plus or minus x. And so consequently, if we were to insert one in here, we would get y equals uh, let's do that in yellow. We get y equals plus or minus the square root of 1, which just equals plus or minus 1. Now what this means is for this input that we've put in here, which is 1, so when x equals 1, uh, if we were to draw this little diagram, we'd have a 1 here, and then we'd have this machine, and this machine would ponder this uh, this input, and instead of just just giving us one output back, it would give us two separate outputs, one and minus one. And by this definition, by these definitions, this is not a function. This is not a function. Now, lastly, let's look at something a, a little little more abstract. Imagine we can define functions by a whole lot of means. We could have tables or ordered pairs, we could have diagrams, we could define some rule by words. Let's define a, uh, a rule using a diagram. So imagine we have a diagram that we're going to construct here. And just to prove to you that we don't need numbers or letters uh, as our inputs, let's imagine that our inputs are shapes. So imagine we have a square here, we have a triangle and a circle. Imagine these, these are our inputs. Imagine our, our possible outputs are say A, B, and C. And let's draw some arrows that specify our rule. So imagine that if, if, we, were to put, um, if we were to put this square into this input, let's, let's say that we would get A back. We can represent it by this, by this arrow here. This is, this is a fairly conventional way of specifying relationships here. So we'll draw arrows here. So imagine that we put a circle as our input into this function. What will we get? We follow the arrow and it turns out that we would get B. That would be our output. So here, if we were to have circle as our input, then this, this rule would sort of mull on this and say, well, I know what I need to to, um, to produce here, the, the output will be B. Now, it turns out that if we would put any of these inputs in there, we would only ever get one output. So as it stands, this rule does represent a function. It is a function. But imagine that we change the, the rules just a little bit and produce another function. Say we introduced another arrow here that points to B. So here, if we, if we were to have a square as our input, we'd now have two separate outputs. We'd have A as one output and B as another output. So a way of writing this is to say, if we have a square, our machine would mull on this square and think, well, what, 
what, what have we got here? And then it would, it would have to produce two separate outputs. So an output of A and an output of B. And because it's more than a single output, this no longer represents a function. This is not a function. This is not a function. So these, these represented functions, these two examples were not functions. Uh, in the future, when you're doing these questions, always think about whether the input always generates a single output. If there's a single instance where the input generates two different outputs, then whatever rule you're considering is not a function.